Hello, I'm back and I'm getting ready for my sneaky link. Um, yeah, the guy from the Bumble Date is coming over again, and mostly because god damn, I look ugly in this fucking. Thing. Um, I need OnlyFans content, and he agreed to do it with me, and he has a nice penis, so I'm like, cool, whatever. I hope he actually hangs out with me. Like, he did last time. We hung out for quite a bit, but, like, I hope he hangs out again. So, to right now, we are going to be curling our hair. Our hair? Um... Yeah. See, like, this lighting is so bad because it's, like, and it makes my chin, like, and it makes my face look so gross. I promise you it's not this gross in real life. This kind of is real life, but you know what I mean. Remembered, oh my trainer. Um, I just remember this one time this work when I was a working tingy. Um this guy came in to see me and like he was like <laughs> he was like, Oh, like I came to see you because escorts don't really care about their clients and like they know how to just have sex and not catch feelings and all that shit. And I'm like, yeah, da 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 da. And he ended up starting to see me regularly. And he ended up like teaching me like how to do everything on my by myself because he didn't like the way pimps were treating me. Um, he put me in like a tally or whatever. I don't even know how this ended up happening. Like, I swear, like, the first night he came, all we did was just drink a bit, and then we had sex, and, like, he paid me for that. And, like, he was talking about how he has a girlfriend and how he just wants to, like, have sex with no feelings or anything. I literally just said that by. Um, and then we spent the night together, which is a no-no because... I was supposed to be working, but whatever. The money wasn't going to me, so I was like, cool. And then he ended up seeing me again and again, and like, he got me a hotel. He would drive me or Uber me to like go get all my IDs. Drive or Uber me to go get my medication, whenever, like in whatever city it was in. Took me to get, like, a Visa debit bank account thing. And, yeah, he basically just, like, showed me the ropes. And then it kind of, I don't know if it was one-sided or if he had feelings for me, too, but I caught feelings. Because, like, this man's hanging out with me. Like, we tell each other stuff. Like, we were both on the same medication, like... We both have like similar mental health problems that we were both open with each other with. And I like, I've never had that before. Like normally guys are like, normally, actually, you know what? I'll give you an example. This one time I was like feeling suicidal and this man messaged me and was like, sorry, I can't fuck with you anymore. I can't fuck with no suicidal ting. There's a lot more serious stuff going on in the world, especially here in the streets of Toronto. Like, what are you sad about? Like, and I was like, what the fuck? And then, like, this other guy I was fucking with, I told him that I had depression, and he was like, I don't believe in all that shit. If you're depressed, go fucking work out or something like that. And I was like, what? So he's like, get some proper sleep. Whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay. Anyway, 
So yeah, we spent a bit of time together and he had put me in like quite a bit of different tellies. And by put me in, I mean he used his credit card to put me in them because like, you know, you have to have a credit card to um, book hotels now or then and now. Um, so yeah, and like I ended up catching feelings and he would like, he would like write me notes when he kind of came and like leave it on the thing and it would be like, you know what's funny? I actually have the note um, still in my, like I still saved the note until like when I moved out to be honest. And he just like made a list. He's like, um, it was like, remember to take your meds. Um, and then he wanted me to like try to get into like, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Um, low income housing or whatever. So he made me apply for that, but I actually didn't end up doing that to be honest because the wait list is like a year to two years. And I was kind of just like thinking, you know what, I'm not gonna be in this position for like that long, which I wasn't. What the hell is going on? Why isn't my hair curling? This is not good. Am I going too fast? Yeah, I think I was going too fast. And he would spend nights with me. And I told him how I was feeling or whatever. And like, he was kind of like hinting that like he kind of felt the same way or whatever. And then, you know what's so funny about this? I actually like really, really, really liked this guy. And like, he was really fucking fine and all this shit, but I have no fucking idea what his name was. But anyways, um, so yeah, all that happened, whatever, shmanchy, shmanchy. We got into like this huge fight one time and he ended up checking me out of the tally and like leaving me stranded. And I had to like call another pimp, which is what he didn't want me to do, but I ended up doing because, I mean, That was my only choice. Um, I swear there was a point to this story. Oh, and then he ended up coming back to me. Not like, I don't know the word, cause we weren't dating, you know, he had a fucking girlfriend that he loved and like he was, she was his background and shit. Oh, oh, well, we were like talking, oh my God, not talking. Well, we were smashing, whatever the fuck. I looked on Backpage and I was like casually searching um, male escorts because like I like to do that. I do, I've never paid for a male escort, let me just be clear about that. But like I always like, I, I don't know. I sometimes see guys that I know. So I was creeping it and like I noticed his phone number was on it. And then I like called him and then I like next the next time I saw him I was like um you're an escort and then he was like yeah and then I was like why didn't you tell me and he was like because I didn't think like that was important or whatever because it's really not like he's not my man but so I thought he was an escort and then my friend that's like at the time she was my friend at the time, we're not friends anymore, but um she ended up like texting the ad that he had up and seeing what he does and apparently he did BBBJ cum shots, like he was seeing guys, like he was sucking guys dicks without a condom and fucking angling guys and eating no, he wasn't eating ass. Okay, but he was sucking guy's dick while he would like come and kiss me and stuff. And like, he never ate pussy. I mean, maybe he didn't want it because I was an escort. Wait, no, because what? I mean, yeah, that's a possibility. But anyways, and I found out, yeah, he was sucking dick and shit like that. And 
coming to kiss me after his client. And he was like, yeah, he's like, that's how I got my car. That's how I pay for my place, da 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 Which is why when all my guy friends like say like, how can I make money, da 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 I always tell them like, male prostitutes don't even like, um, like a lot of them don't really have to do much, you know, like a lot of women are literally just looking for company. Which I'm now starting to understand because living alone and being single and having no one. <clears throat> I can't lie, I have thought about hiring a male escort. I'm never going to do it, but I thought about it. I mean, you pay a guy to come and be, temp be like your pretend boyfriend. And then you move along. Sounds like a good deal. I don't have to move in with him. Like I would. Also, I wanna like I wanna hire a boyfriend. Like I wanna hire someone to be my boyfriend for like a day and take like girlfriend boyfriend aesthetic pictures, like with ski mask and like cute positions and stuff, and just like post them because. I look really, I really, I've never, like, I've taken a couple pictures before with my ex, but, like, I wasn't allowed to post them because I was actually a side bitch, but, you know. Actually, I wouldn't want his face in it. Anyways, the whole moral of the story that I just told is that Um, honestly, working was just probably not good for me because the amount of tricks that I fell in love with and ended up, like, running away with, like, literally just, like, taking off on my pimp and going and, like, staying with the trick and just, like, falling in love with them and shit is, like, not even funny. Like, if you're attractive and we fuck, even if you're a trick, like, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I want to see you again. <laughs> and it's really bad like you could literally like brush my shoulder and i'd be like oh my god i want to have your babies and i don't know what that, that even means because like maybe it's because i've been single basically my entire life <laughs> All right, so back to the sneaky link. And I'm calling it a sneaky link because he's made it very clear. He does not want anyone to know that he hangs out with me. Um, even like, I mean, like, I'm not offended anymore at this point because I'm used to it. Cause like, he knows who I am. And like, I get like, everyone always gets backlash for hanging out with me, like, especially the guys like even the girls get backlash like i've heard a lot of my friends say that like when they first like started like talking to me online and shit their friends would like be like why the fuck are you talking to her and then they would tell me that and i'm like the fuck did i do to them But at the same time, I kind of think, like, who do you think you are? Like, why do you think it's so bad to be seen with me when, like, like, are you fucking... Like, I don't get it. Like... I think people in this generation have, like... They want to be accepted by their peers so badly. And for what? Like, you, you want to be accepted by your lame ass friend. Like, for what? I don't, I don't get it. So because a bitch was online doing the most, you can't fuck with her because your boys are going to make fun of you for it. 
Meanwhile, in all honesty, honesty, I feel like I would probably do a lot more and like be a lot better or be more down for a guy than his friends are, are with him. But you know, whatever, guys really seek approval from their friends and it's kind of weird at this point because like, go get your dick sucked from your guy friends then. I don't fucking like, all my girls hate the guys that I like date or whatever. But you don't see, you don't hear me like saying to someone like, oh, I can't be seen with you. Like my friends hate you. Like I don't, I don't say shit like that. I'm just, I don't, so I don't get it. I don't understand why guys seek so much approval from their friends. Like, or like have such a problem with like trying to upkeep this like image online when you're not even like relevant online like i can understand if, like you're like no even if you're relevant online like even if you're an influencer or something like i don't get it i can understand if you're like a news reporter obviously and you're trying to upkeep like your social image like obviously if you're hanging out with a girl who's known for like sucking dick online that's gonna look bad on you and that i can understand but these regular regular men men who like with regular regular jobs that are like saying like oh i can't be seen with you i can't be seen with you like bitch what about I can't be seen with you either? I'm kidding. I would never. I would never say that. So I would never say. That's even rude. Like, can you imagine, like, telling a man, like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to be seen with you. Like, don't post me. Don't post anything that you're here. I'm actually going to start doing that, to be honest. When I got with a guy, I'm going to, like, make sure you don't tell anyone you, you were here. Don't post in my house or anything. I don't want people knowing that I was with you. I'm gonna see how they like it. Actually, they probably won't give a fuck because guys I have no feeling. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. It's just fucking annoying because like, I am freaking awesome, okay? I am a freaking awesome person. So if you don't want to be seen with me, you're not an awesome person. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm almost done this side. Oh, I haven't eaten today. It's dark out because of the fucking daylight, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck that shit's called. Time change. Where's the fucking straight piece that I had? Was it? Oh, I'll just get underneath. This is such a fried piece of hair. But yeah, it gets dark out now at like five o'clock. So it's really throwing me off. Like, I already mentioned on the last video. One sec. <clears throat> yeah it's 601 and i'm getting ready for a fucking like it should i'm not used to doing this until like nine o'clock I'm fucking annoyed. I don't even want to do this. Like, I've been avoiding hanging out with people for like a month now. I don't want to hang out with anyone. But then again, I really want to get cute. And I don't want my OnlyFans getting deleted. So here I am.
Not a curl. This is not going well. I think my hair might be too greasy for this. What? Thought it was better to curl your hair when it's greasy, or am I tripping? And then, okay, so me and friends, me and me and Lauren are friends again. And like she mentioned something about how like guys will like say they're gonna bring you flowers and then like they don't bring you flowers or something. It just reminded me of the story. I've already told this story before, but <sighs> anyways, this guy was hitting me up. Okay, this guy kept hitting me up, and like I would like pull, like I'm not the type of person to be like, ew, you're ugly, like don't talk to me. If I don't find you attractive, I'm literally just gonna straight up say you're not my type. Like, I don't think it's nice to like, just straight up like say like, you don't talk to me. Like, unless you're saying some like nasty, what that mouth do type shit, then yeah, I think it's more respectful to just simply say like, you're not my type instead of saying like, even saying, like, I don't find you attractive is kind of rude. I don't know. But anyway, so this guy was messaging me and he was ugly. <laughs> but he was saying, like, the sweetest things. And I was kind of like, you know what? Like, let me just give it a try. Like, I've already said before, even if I don't think you're attractive, I'll still give you a chance because there's a chance that I'll find you attractive as I get to know you. So, he was messaging me every day saying like, oh, good morning, beautiful. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 and I was young and I was still dumb. And you know what? I'm still dumb because I still fall for that shit. But, um, and then I was like, fuck, I'm like, fuck it, fine. I'll hang out with you. And he was like, okay, like, I'm going to bring you flowers. We're going to go to this five-star hotel in Toronto. Um, I think I was still a teenager. I think I was like fucking like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so he's like, I'm going to take you to a fancy hotel in Toronto. It's going to be five stars. Um, I'll get two beds so that you don't feel uncomfortable. Um, he's like, we're gonna go out for dinner, then we can drink a bit, like, da, da, da. he sounded, like, nice and, like, not, like, oh, like, like, go, go, that type of drink, but, like, you know, sit down, have a nice glass of, you know, I'm not even capable of that, but <laughs> it sounded nice. So, he picks me up, and right off the bat, he's kind of creepy, like, he's calling me his girl and stuff, and I'm like, please don't claim me. And... Like, honestly, like, in my head, like, I kept thinking, like, dude, jump out of this car right now. I'm like, jump out of this car, jump out of this car. When we were driving on the highway, I just wanted to jump out. I just felt like something bad was going to happen. I honestly, truly think he was going to kidnap me. Or, I mean, I truly thought that he was going to kidnap me while I was in his car. But first of all, he shows up. There's no flowers. Red flag number one. Takes me to Motel 6 in Brampton. Red flag number two. Um, when he's ordering the room, they say one bed or two. He said one. Anyways, we get to the room. He brought alcohol. He brought a Mickey of Crown Royal. And as soon as we got in the room, like, he just started, like, kissing on me and everything. And I was, like, neat, like chill. Like, I just met you. <sighs> he starts rolling up blunts. This man was high off his fucking face. And then when he started to drink, like, literally two shots in, he was fucking, like... I'm gonna be honest. Like, a lot of men, like... What I've learned throughout, like, all my experiences with all these men, most of these men really can't handle their liquor. But anyway, so he was, like, two shots in. He's fucking, like, drunk as shit. Didn't even leave me that much alcohol to drink. And then he's like, let's get on the bed. And we got on the bed. 
and he tried to fuck me without a condom i'm like go get a fucking condom because i'm not fucking you without a condom so he went to the store and got some and okay i don't know how to explain this we were on the edge of the bed like he was sitting on the edge of the bed and then he made me sit on him but like my back towards him and i had to like put my hands on like the window thingy and he made me ride him while i was like having to hold my own weight and shit like i don't oh my god i don't know how to explain it but but yeah he made me do that for like an hour and then as soon as he busted his nut he turned over and passed the fuck out butt naked with the condom still on and full in the middle of the bed, just like this. Passed out like a fucking starfish with a fucking condom on. And I'm like. <laughs> like, honestly, God, if you put me on the earth to be a cum dumpster, please just tell me already. Just tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but then he took me home the next morning and then like the whole ride there, he was like, remember, you're mine now. Don't talk to any other man or I'll find him. And I'm like, bye. And then I got out of the car and not even before I got to my house, when I was walking, I blocked him on everything. Never heard from him again. It's just, it's just not a good experience, you know? Funny story to tell, I guess, but. <sighs> this is not working out. This side is not going well at all. Like, this is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and do this and then I'll be back and I'm doing my makeup. I'm about to come back when I got ready. It looks better in the light. But, um, he ditched me. Well, not really. He, I said I was getting ready. And then me getting ready turned into me taking two and a half hours. And then he messaged me finally an hour and a half later. And he was like, oh, I fell asleep. But I already made plans with this other guy that I've been talking to off of Hinge. And... He's coming over. He's on his way right now. And I'm nervous as fuck. Not even really sure what he looks like, to be honest. Like, I can't really get, like, a good look at him when he, like, snapchats me. Because his face, like, is usually covered, kind of. So, actually, it doesn't even matter what he looks like. I just want to fucking have fun tonight. And, like, I don't know. I'm not going to have sex with him. But I want to have fun tonight. Like, I want to have, like, a good time. Good time doesn't always mean sex, Sagi. Okay, whatever. My bad. But, yeah. He's on his way over. And he's never met me before. So, we're going to see how this goes. I told him that I'm fat. And he replied with, and, question mark, El Mafio. And I was like... I'm just telling you so that you don't think you got catfish when you get here. And he was like, okay, I feel you. Oh my god. This person's living room is so fucking beautiful. I love being able to see because I can see in everyone's, like, condo and how they have it set up. And some of these are so nice. Like, I wonder if anyone looks in my condo and says, yo, that girl has a nice setup. But yeah, I'm wearing this big hoodie thingy um i wanted to make a delicio pizza for dinner but i don't don't didn't think i had time and i wanted to take selfies for instagram which i did so yeah okay bye i'll be back with updates I'm doing so 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 i'm doing so 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 i'm doing so 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 good 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 all right <laughs> <clears throat> so the guy that was originally supposed to come 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? Do you ever just like forget how to do something? Like I was about to do a British accent, but then I forgot. I don't even know how to fucking do it. All right, so the go Bitch, what the fuck? Okay, so the guy that was supposed to come that I've been talking about how, or no, I haven't. I've been been talking about it to my friend, but um, the guy that I slept with before and the successful pimp, um. Bim pimple, what the fuck? Successful bumble date. Um, he ended up falling asleep, and then by the time he messaged me, I already made plans with someone else. So I was like, "Fuck it, like let's just do it tomorrow." Anyway, so this guy comes over that I've been talking to like over Snapchat. We were talking, talking. We were just like having friendly conversations, and like you know, like we seem to get along really well. You seem to have an actual personality, whatever. Because apparently, a lot of men lack personality, or they just don't. Show their personality. I don't even fucking know. But anyway, so that guy came over. And. Well, like when I first saw him, he looked like shaky and like nervous. And like, you know, normally I would sit here and be like, um, he probably felt uncomfortable and saw that I was really fat and just wanted to leave. And so he was shaking. But honestly, I looked so pretty last night. Like, so pretty. That I'm going to just say that he was shaking and he was nervous because I was pre I'm pretty as fuck and he was intimidated by me. But yeah, Um. also if you want to see what I looked like last night, um, the final result, you can go to my Instagram and look at my latest post. <laughs> but I'm Shadowman on Instagram, so what you have to do is you have to type in Sagittarius Shadi 8 and then you have to press, press search and then you'll see my name. Like it won't show up. Like, when you, um, type it in and don't press search. Like, it's not going to show me some shadow man. But anyways, so, um, so he comes up to me into my crib or whatever. He's, like, he looks really nervous. Like, he looks like he thinks I'm about to, like, kill him or something. Um, and then he sat down and he sat over to saw me. And then we watched some TV and we listened to some music and we talked about who our favorite artists were. And I was really impressed by his favorite artists. Because, like, you know, like, guys nowadays are, like, I feel like a lot of people, like, their their answer is always, like, Lil Baby or, like, Lil Dirk or, you know. I'm not that there's a problem with that. It's just, like, that seems to be everyone's favorite rap, like, artists nowadays. So... He ended up saying something like Kanye, J. Cole, and I forget who his third one was, but I was like, damn, because J. Cole is one of my top artists, and um, no one ever really mentions him, so I was like, but yeah, so we were talking, and he seemed kind of like, um, I don't know the word. He seemed kind of shy. Oh, no, he was just being awkward. Yeah, he was just being, like, straight up awkward. Anyway, so we started, like, he started holding my hand. And he started, like, putting his hand on my thigh or whatever. And, um... Sorry, brain fire. Um, and then uh, I was drinking, like, because I just wanted to, like, wind down or whatever the fuck the word is. Whatever adults do on Friday nights after work, even though I have no work. But, yeah, I took a couple shots or whatever. And um, one thing about me is as soon as there's alcohol in my system, I'm fucking you. Like, if you're trying to, if you want to fuck and... You're hitting on me and I'm, I'm like, I have alcohol in my system. Like, I would pretty much fuck anyone. Like, like, I would fuck someone's dad, someone's grandpa. I just get horny. I don't even I fucking know. I don't know. Maybe your grandma. I don't fucking know. But, no, we didn't fuck, but we went to the room. And, like, we were making out, and we were, like, dry humping. Like, 
a bunch of like children. And I thought that was kind of weird. But I wasn't trying to have sex with him because my coochie kind of stank. You know what? I wasn't going to say that part, but I'm going to just straight up say it. My coochie stank. <laughs> um... <sighs> Yeah, and, um, well, I'm going to the clinic. I'm not sure why, though, and I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I have no idea why I was thinking. Um, I have an appointment at the clinic, on, on the clinic on Monday, and I'm really confused as to what's going on, because I haven't fucked anyone raw that I know of. But, yeah. So, he ended up just, like, rubbing my coochie, and, like, he took out my pants and, like, started rubbing my coochie, and then I busted my nut, and then he left after. And I think he left right after because he smelled my coochie. But, I mean, like, I don't know. I didn't suck his dick or anything. We literally just made out and dry humped, and he, I got a little coochie rub. That's it. Um, but then after he left, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling it, so I blocked him. And um now I'm starting to feel bad, but if guys can do it to me, why can't I go to guys? Like like men can do this shit, but women can't do this shit. Like honestly, at this point, I am just like a man. Like I do shit just like a man. Like I'm fucking everybody. I'm been fucking give no fucks about men's feelings or anything period i am the motherfucking man now bitch but um yeah so um and then after okay so like i'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my coochie and i asked the guy that like i fucked or whatever because like he was the only guy i fucked within like six months now and um I asked him, like, I was, like, because I, I was, like, kind of really drunk when we fucked. And I asked him, like, a simple question. Like, were you wearing a condom when we smashed? And he messaged me back. And he was, like, bruh, don't message me. Don't wonky shit like that. Um, And then I was, like, LMA, okay? And then he was, like, like, what kind of dumbass fucking question is that? You literally, all you had to say was yes or no, buddy. But when I was with this guy um, last night or whatever, I posted, like, snaps of me and him. Like, more so him holding my hand and then him with his arm around me because I like to do that when I wake up with guys um, to get attention from other guys. You know, guys would... Guys seem to like you more when you're taken. Or they think you're taken. So, like... I don't know, like... When you post a picture, like, a video with a guy, guys always seem to message you and be like, oh, you have a man now, eh? And I'll be like, oh, no. And, yeah, that's how it starts. But, <clears throat> so, me and the guy that I asked about the condom or whatever, um, had plans tonight, which is now Saturday night, to, well, it's actually Sunday morning, but whatever, Saturday night, we had plans at 6.30 for him to come over, and I was going to make OnlyFans content with him, and, like, took a dick or whatever, and he was going to bust on, uh, on my face. And then, um, I messaged him, and I was like, so, um, can we reschedule for tomorrow, because I, I'm too tired, which I am. And, um, oh my god, my hair looks weird right now. <laughs> my hair looks weird from this angle. No, I like the other angle better. No, I can't even get it back to what it was. Okay, I just look weird. Okay, anyway, so... Um, I said, like, oh, let's reschedule tomorrow, I'm tired. And he was like, you don't need me anymore. And I was like, huh? And then he was like... I was like, what do you mean? Um, and then he just ignored it. And he just kept ignoring me. And then he just said, good night. 
So I guess we're not linking ever again. But hear me out. I asked my best friend about this. And I was like, hey, like, da da, -da this is the situation. Like, what, like, what's going on? Like, why is he moving like that when we're not even talking or anything? And he clearly made it clear that he doesn't even give a fuck about me or want me in that type of way. He just wants sex or his dick set. And my friend was like, um, he's insecure. Um, he wants you to be fucking him and nobody else, but he's probably fucking other girls. I know he's fucking other girls. Like, a man that looks like that is not sitting at home, not fucking bitches. But, um, yeah, so I guess that's done with. Cool. Um, but you know what they say when one door closes, some more open. And I got some messages from some fine ass men right after that happened. And now I think I'm gonna link up with them. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's the story. Um, I remade this video three times because. I don't know. I don't know. Why did I make... Oh, because the first time I made it... I didn't like it. Then the second time I made it, I was crying about some dumb shit. And now here I am. Sorry. But yeah, um, what I realized though is, um, I think I'm like, I think I already said this, but I'm just gonna say it again. I'm in the right headspace to be doing these Tinder dates again. Like, I don't really care if you're gonna cut me off after you fuck me. I mean, I don't mind hooking up with, like, men again. As long as, like, you can, like, as long as I can get an OnlyFans video out of it. Um, cause like when I hook up with these guys or whatever, like I'm not only making money on YouTube, but I'm making money on OnlyFans from it. So it is actually a win, 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 win situation, especially when they make me bust an act. So I'm just going to start hooking up with men again and I'm gonna learn to not give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, the point of me saying that, though, was that, um, get ready because Tinder Dates IG is making a motherfucking comeback. Except this time, I'm not going to be pulling a lot of the fucking rude ass shit I used to pull. But, okay, I love you guys. Um, make sure, okay, I don't know if you guys don't read the description box when I post videos, but I always post my social media links, not links, like my at names in there. No one ever follows me or adds me, and it's just like, but I want you guys to follow my freaking spam account on Instagram. It's public, and I just like basically post like funny combos with guys or like, you know, just like random stuff on there, and I think like. Since I don't post a lot on YouTube, I feel like it's, like, a good place for you guys to kind of just, like, interact with me outside of YouTube. That's why I made it. But no one's following it. But if you guys could really go follow it and, um, that, yeah, that would be appreciated. Or, I mean, like... Um, uh, I appreciate it. If you could go follow it, or if you want to go follow it, follow it. Bye. The fuck? It'll be in my bio. The name of the Instagram page. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.